Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 31 in our Arizona Adventure Park. In this episode I'm going to finish our great savannah right here with uh, the left spot that was left empty and is going to be some kind of desert savannah. And I told you in the last episode that I was going to put the Oryx in there, or the Gemsbok, how it is called in English, and uh, I decided to put the Zebra in there as well, so that the Oryx isn't all alone by themselves. Yeah, first of all, I needed to do some terraforming again, because I didn't want to have this full rock formations all around uh, the whole area and we also needed to have another dry mold on our side of the visitor so that the animals can jump over the fence so that's the first thing i had to do then again some coloring of the terra forming work that i did with the rock color and then i guess yeah, then uh, the first thing that I did was to uh, continue building the track for our safari train. And I think of going back into that in one of the next episodes, not the next one, because I already know what I'm going to do in the next episode. But I think we have to go over the whole safari train, uh, train thing because I'm not too happy with the track right now because most of the times the track goes outside of the habitats and I wanted to be a little more included in uh, the actual zoo. So yeah, there's that. So right now the track is underneath the rocks so I have to clean the area a little bit. And I really like how the track um, moves forward through the habitat and through the rock formations right here. Uh, it looks pretty interesting and I think I might have so much fun by using the train ride in this area here. But, it's, uh, but it is still a long way to go for us until we can take a tour on the train because there's so much space left right now. Yeah, and as I said, I already know what I'm going to build in the next episode. Um, we have the left side of this habitat close to the lake. Um, yeah, some open space for that. That I left open purposely, purposefully. And I'm going to build a habitat for the mandrill. Um, uh, Sonia suggested that it would be a great idea to put the mandrill in there. Baboons in general would be perfect, but unfortunately we don't have baboons in the game right now. So uh, there's a few mods um, of baboons that we could use, but um, yeah, I'm still not there for mods as I noticed other users having severe problems with using those and um, yeah I just I just don't want to take any risks by installing them on my PC and maybe having problems to keep Planet Zoo running so that's something I'm not going to do and I'm waiting patiently for Francia to fulfill my dreams and add some baboons to the game <laughs> or something like that. Yeah so, it's time for some rock work in the background and then time again for some foliage work. So, as I said in the previous episodes, I was planning to do a live stream and to do some work on the area around the habitats that we left open. I indeed did a live stream in the last week. It was on, let me think about it, it was on Thursday. Yeah, it was on Thursday. It was about uh, one and a half hour long. 
I had so much fun. I was very, very nervous because I thought, oh my God, I'm going to sit there alone by myself and nobody is going to watch it. And uh, I really was overwhelmed that so many of you joined in and uh, we had so much fun. Um, yeah, the down part of it was that I did nothing. I didn't get anything done. Um, I was planning to work in Swamp Lake. I was planning to work in Arizona and wanted to do some rock work and foliages and uh, wanted to do some animal management and uh, yeah. In the end, I put down some building material in Swamp Lake and then I switched to do a little bit of animal management. And in the end, it was just uh, me chatting with you guys and yeah, getting nothing done and doing a little tour to Waveland Park, which is growing and growing and growing. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, yeah, at this moment, the first episode is online on my channel. It um, premiered on Sunday. Yeah, yesterday. So if you like to just give it a watch, it's in English language once again, because I thought there's so many German videos right now on my channel and even the live stream was in German. So I thought it's time for another English series and I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it, even though the first few episodes are not going to show any animals because I am so lost in building stuff uh, for this park. But yeah, have a look for yourself and I hope it inspires you in any way or form. Yeah, so uh, we did a little tour to Waveland Park uh, and also we did a little tour to Arizona. Um, if you missed that, you can also go to Zedas uh, H Place channel. He did a little tour on the, this zoo not including the safari zone because the safari zone wasn't built at that moment but uh, you can watch the old part of the zoo when he's touring it um yeah that's what i did in the live stream and then there was something unfortunate so um you can't watch the live stream afterwards because i had to delete it because I got a notification from YouTube the other day that I might do some changes on the video because it is against uh, community guidelines for uh, spam inappropriate, um, inappropriate, what was it? Something inappropriate, spam and uh, and something else so it was uh, just ridiculous because I did nothing else than I did in uh, in this videos that you are watching so there was nothing that I could have done that was against the community guidelines unfortunately I couldn't contact YouTube because you can contact YouTube if you are um, in the in the partner program or whatever it is called when you reach a thousand subscribers four thousand hours of uh, video material that your viewers have watched and uh, yeah i'm far from that not that far but still far from that and so that is the reason that i couldn't contact uh, the um, creator service or customer service or whatever it is called so I didn't have a chance to ask YouTube what exactly was wrong with my video so I decided to just delete it and uh, leave it be which is pretty sad because it was my first live stream so my first live stream ever is uh, gone now and yeah it's pretty sad and I'm very sorry for that but that's what it is yeah and um, also afterwards one day later Mathlead um, on Twitter told me or showed me that it must have been 
known problem from YouTube that lots of live videos have been uh, set to private because of um, being against the community guidelines um, without any reason. So uh, that was the reason why that happened to me. So I didn't do anything wrong. It was just a failure from YouTube. And um, yeah, but the video is still gone. But that leads me that I'm going to give YouTube another try with doing some live streams. So there might be some live streams in the future as well. But I'm also going to check out the other platform, Twitch, um, to see what what works better for me and what works better from you uh, for you. And yeah, so that's that. Yeah, as you can see in the background, we already have our first animals in the habitat. We have the zebra and we have the gamspock in there. And I am very happy how the whole thing looks. As you already can see, we have the sunshade in there as well. I, I paused the game this time and paused the recording as well to copy the sunshade around from the one habitat to the other. Uh, which was a very great idea because otherwise we would have had game crashes as well. Yeah, and as I didn't get anything done in the live stream, I'm uh, going to get it done in this episode because I thought the episode would be very, very, very short if I didn't do any other things in this episode than just putting down some rocks and some plants and putting in the animals in the new habitat and then we might call it a day. So I decided to go in those empty spots and make it look a little bit pretty. What I did here is I put down these uh, white concrete pieces in that area for uh, the savannah where we have this elevated situation going on right there just to yeah just to make that whole elevation thing more seen and make it more dominant i might say and i think it looks pretty good so you can see um, uh, into the savannah from the upper part of this area from the tortoises um, and you can uh, come a little closer when you go the way down close to the barrier. I also thought that I might be going back into the habitat one day um, maybe someday when we have a, a little episode like this would have been when I didn't do the work around the habitats and I'm going to build something like a feeding station for our visitors where they in theory could feed the giraffes which is also a part that I wish Planet Zoo would add to the, uh, to the game at one point because um, it is not a very common thing in German zoos but it is a very common thing in US zoos where you can have these close animal encounters so um, like those walkthrough uh, areas that we already do have in game where you can walk through um, aviaries for uh, yeah for for an example um, like aviaries for budgets uh, budgets budgies I think they're called bachis. Yeah, budget is something something very different. Yeah, um, aviaries for uh, for bachis and little parrots and um, yeah, you, you also have some kind. I uh, I remember. I think it was in Miami Metro Zoo where I have been, um, where you have those touch pools where you can feed stingrays which was a very interesting you get a little plate with uh, some shrimp uh, shrimp on it and then you put your hand in the water and the stingray um, 
swims over your hand and eats the shrimp from your hand which which was pretty pretty cool yeah and you can also have these animal encounters with some of the bigger animals like feeding giraffes or um yeah in san diego wild animal park which was very yeah which was a pretty expensive encounter you can do uh, some kind of safari tours through the uh, huge habitats with the animals and um that was when i was able to feed the giraffes but not only the giraffes but also some indian rhinos which was so cool to come close to these majestic big huge animals and just give them some uh, some fruit or something like that that was pretty pretty awesome yeah that's something i wish we could have in the game as well uh, not these safari tours where you can feed the animals from a truck or something like that but maybe something like a platform you can put in your habitats where you actually can feed the animals or some of them not not all of the animals but some of them that would be very very nice and who knows maybe there's something in the works at Francis headquarters and we're going to see that in the future that would be very cool yeah with that being said um, we are already coming close to the next DLC the summer DLC and um, once again we don't know anything about it so I'm very excited in which direction it might go um, one thing might be for sure it won't be an animal pack this time because usually it is an animal pack um, a DLC with building parts and then again an animal pack and once again building parts so I guess next DLC is going to be something with fewer animals and with more new building parts for the game and with some new exciting stuff. Not that the Wetlands uh, animal pack wasn't exciting, it is pretty cool and I really love it and I really enjoy playing with it, but um, yeah, it's just animals and some trees. Yeah, so we're coming close to an end right now. I finished this little island that I was so desperately looking forward to finish because it it really hurt my eyes to be this naked all the time. And uh, I'm very happy that we have some plants on it and everything around this area looks like, uh, yeah, looks a little bit more natural. And the last thing that I was doing was covering up this, yeah, this uh, this track for for our safari train because I didn't like how it looked. I didn't want it to look that rustic and give it a little bit of a uh, modern look and add some of the white concrete that I'm using in most parts of the zoo, so that it fits the whole theme a little bit more. And that, with that being said, we are already close to the end of the video. We finished everything that we wanted to do. We added the last few animals to our great savanna, to the first great savanna, I might say. There's going to be another one at the opposite side of the lake. And what we are going to do in the next episode is we are going to build a mandrill habitat. I have quite some ideas already for what I want to do there and yeah just be excited watch the animals in this beautiful habitat right here and yeah I hope to see you guys in the next video and I hope you also check out Waveland Park because you don't want to miss that definitely okay so if you like the video just leave a like Press the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next episodes on this channel. And yeah, happy to see you guys in the next video. So bye guys, take care.